జై హింద్ వి ఆల్ ఆర్ సెలబ్రేటింగ్ ఆసాదిక అమృత్ మహోత్సవ్ టు కమ్మమరేట్ ద సెవెంటీ ఫిఫ్త్ యానివర్సరీ ఆఫ్ అవర్ ఇండిపెండెన్స్ అవర్ ప్రైమ్ మినిస్టర్ హెస్ కాల్డ్ ఫర్ ఆల్ ఆఫ్ అస్ టు పార్టిసిపేట్ ఇన్ హర్ ఘర్ తెలంగ బై హోస్టింగ్ నేషనల్ ఫ్లాగ్ ఇన్ అవర్ హౌసెస్ స్ట్రీట్స్ ఇన్స్టిట్యూషన్స్ ఎక్సెట్రా ఐ ఫీల్ ఇట్ ఇస్ వెరీ ఇంపార్టెంట్ ఫర్ ఆల్ ఆఫ్ అస్ టు నో ఏ బిట్ ఆఫ్ హిస్టరీ అబౌట్ అవర్ నేషనల్ ఫ్లాగ్ అండ్ సర్టన్ రూల్స్ వైల్ మేకింగ్ హ్యాండ్లింగ్ హోస్టింగ్ అండ్ డిస్పోసింగ్ ఆఫ్ ద నేషనల్ ఫ్లాగ్ our national flag represents the hopes and aspirations of the people of india it's a symbol of our national pride there is universal affection and respect for and loyalty to the national flag it occupies a unique and special place in the emotions and psyche of the people of india the national flag generates immense amount of patriotism in our mind we shall not forget that to remember Uh, those thousands of freedom fighters and military personnel who had laid down their life protecting the national flag we must also thankfully remember the soldiers who stand guard for uh, for our nation round the clock 365 days in difficult climatic conditions and difficult terrains it was in 1921 when a college teacher pingali venkaiya designed a two color flag for indian national congress with uh, dark red on top to represent hindus and dark green to represent muslims in the bottom it was mahatma gandhi who introduced white color in between to represent all other uh, religions uh, in india at that time and they inserted a, a charka in between which represented the indian freedom movement in 1931 the dark red on the top was replaced uh, with the deep saffron uh, color as we see it now This flag was adopted as our national flag on 22nd of uh, July 1947 uh, by replacing the charka with navy blue colored Ashok Chakra uh, named the Dharma Chakra with the 24 spokes in it. The saffron color on top represents the strength and courage of the people of India. The white in the middle represents the peace and the truth. and the green on the bottom represents the prosperity growth and auspiciousness of the land and the chakra represents the justice and dutifulness we have a flag code which was uh, which uh, was introduced in 2002 uh, which lays down certain rules while handling the national flag the flag code 2002 uh, were uh, little bit um, amended in last year let's see the salient features of the flag code uh, it has to be rectangular in shape in the ratio 3 is to 2 uh, the saffron color has to be on the top and the green on the bottom uh, cotton khadi silk and wool material could be used uh, for the flag but now with the recent amendment they have incorporated the included the polyester also earlier only hand woven flags were permitted to be hoisted but now they have included the machine made flags also earlier when it was permitted only from sunrise to sunset for the national flag to be hoisted now they have made it round the clock uh, when it is uh, displayed in public a damaged or a torn or a soiled flag should not be used no other flag should be tied in the same pole as national flag national flags can be used in vehicles only by certain high ranking government officials except for uh, january 26 and august 15th no other flag should be higher to national flag not to be used as material of decoration at all no part of the national flag should be used as dress or uniform national flag should not touch the ground or water and uh, national flag should not be used for wrapping anything what i am meaning by wrapping it should not be used to wrap dead bodies you would have seen military people and the leaders and all it is only put on the top and it is neatly taken away in a respectful uh, function similarly uh, there are complaints of people using 
a national flag to put uh, you know all waste and all to tie it up and take away so that should not be done at all no letters like jai hind bharat mata etc to be printed no letters are allowed to be printed on the national flag uh, half mast we have seen uh, the flag can be hoisted half mast only on instructions of central government on certain occasions and even uh, when it is uh, flown half mast uh, it has to be risen up before the flag is brought down and finally it's the disposal after the use the flag should be disposed in a very very respectful manner in a private uh, way flags should not be thrown around it should not be put on the on the road side it should not be thrown on to the dustbin uh, it should not be uh, burned uh, in a public way etc so i thought uh, it will be timely to share uh, certain uh, information to you my greetings to you all and your family uh, on this auspicious occasion of azadi ka amrit mahotsav hope you all will join our har ghar tiranga abhiyan jai hind